Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to this special interview coinciding the 25th edition of the International Algerian Book Fair that finally sprang back after two years of absence due to COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the book fair is hosting authors from all over the, the world and uh, to exhibit their work. And today we're, at, we're having with us and we're uh, joined by Usama Mesai. Uh, hi, Usama. Uh, thank you for accepting our invitation. Hello, my, the pleasure is mine. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. You're very welcome. To start with Usama, Dead Symphony. Why did you choose this title specifically? Well, uh, the story, is, there is a funny story behind the title because I remember spending like more than three weeks trying to decide. It was harder than literally writing the whole book. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find the perfect name and like my friend was like, it's already late, you gotta choose the name, you gotta choose the name. Yes. And he helped me a lot choosing this name. Uh, well, first death, it was referring to the, the meaning of death is, uh, in the book, since it was a period of war. Yes. Uh, and the symphony, it was referring to how beautifully I choose to kill each uh, character. All right, interesting. So what is the whole uh, book actually about? What is the story? Well, the, the general idea about this book, it, was, uh, it is uh, about uh, a bunch of uh, kingdoms and villages who were fighting mm -hmm. with each other because of gold and uh, power. And uh, till one day they got invaded by invaders. And uh, so they had no choice but to unite together to fight uh, the invader. Interesting, beautiful. And I want to know, what was your source of inspiration to actually commence uh, to start and to commence writing? Well, since first of all, uh, since I was young, I used to watch a lot of movies, especially English movies. Yes. And I always wished that I would make a movie of my own. But <laughs> since it was so hard, especially in Algeria, and uh, I remember when we had we, 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 the period of COVID, when we were in our homes, uh, so we had Confined. No, yep, a lot, <laughs> yes. a lot. And I remember spending like a month just in the room. I could do nothing. I was so bored. So it was mm -hmm. like I, I just started writing a book, and step by step, I finished by writing a full book. So we can say that the pandemic was your actual. Uh that the pandemic triggered the uh, the book, the, the writing of the uh, the piece of uh, work. Exactly, exactly. It was an ex escape way from boredom. From boredom during the it, pandemic. It, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, wh who do you read for, and who inspires you? Well, I read mostly uh, the Game of Thrones, if you heard of it, by Gigi Martin. Mm -hmm. uh, I also heard uh, read a book about uh, the, the Watcher in the uh, Shadows. Right. I bought it, by the way, uh, two years ago from the Sela. From the book fair. Exactly, yes. yes. It was suggested by uh, one of the, uh, the buyers. Okay. So what is uh, your favorite book, talking about books, and which, uh, which book would you say marked you the most? Of course, it will be the Game of Thrones books, uh, because, first of all, I like the, something that uh, only existed in uh, Gigi Martin writings. Mm -hmm. It's the, the, it's how he writes about a character, especially the fact that it's a, a main character, and he uh, put uh, he he tells the story in a way that you can't tell that you are oh, this uh, since it's a main character that it will last till the end of the story. I, mm -hmm. I remember when I was like reading the book, I would say, this is a beautiful character, this is my favorite character. Two, three pages later, he killed it. I get like, what? <laughs> how how he could, could he how kill could a character? How could be so cruel? The yes, <laughs> the book will be so boring now, then he will create another main character, and of course he will kill him again. Yes, yeah, so that was your actual, yes, one I like of your favorites. Yes, I so much, how, and this is how I, I used it too in my book, so I tried to make a lot of plot twists. Plot twists yes. during the whole yes, story. Yes, exactly, yes. I wonder how um, the readers will take that. It's cool, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Their reactions. Uh, I, it is. <laughs> yes. So uh, it is no th uh, worth noting, uh, dear viewers, that Usama is a medical student in dentistry. And uh, guess what? He's actually only 21 years old. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Yes. 21 years old, that's really exciting. Um, how did you manage to bridge between the two completely different fields? 
Well, you can never imagine how much I get this question, especially from the, my colleagues. Uh, my colleagues, they will be uh, like, "We somehow have like exam in a week or two, uh, but you are like outside and you are like uh, having any event or something." So, uh, especially, I'm uh, president of a club, a university club, dental mind club. So, yes. and I write books, I go in events, I go to the gym, I study, I and I uh, I walk, I go outside, I have fun. And they were like, "How could you manage?" all of this and I, my simple question is just how you manage your time how That's to organize all. your time exactly how you yeah. organize your time and it's completely different I mean from science to literature exactly I mean, exactly that's it's, really impressive it's, it's about your study your hobbies your free time your uh, passion and time it's, management it's, exactly, exactly exactly especially time management yeah um, why did you choose to write in English um, why not in French, since it's the language of your studies? Or better yet, um, Arabic, your mother tongue? Well, you should see me how I speak French, you would change your mind. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, despite that I studied French for more than 10 years or probably 13 years now, mm -hmm. uh, I still don't feel, uh, feel comfortable uh, talking with it or writing with it. Uh, but uh, in the other side, in English, I feel like I, it's, I, f I feel more free, I feel freedom, I can express, express uh, better uh, my ideas. So it's about your, um, uh, um, you prefer the, the English language. Exactly, that's why, because I prefer English and it's way easier uh, than French. Than French. <laughs> yes, it's way easier. <laughs> All right, I can understand. So um, is there a much uh, turnout for such books, such writing uh, genre in English here in Algeria? It is because uh, there is a, there is not a lot of uh, English writers. Well, For in sure. general, there is not even young uh, writers now, let alone in English uh, writers. That's why it's a bit uh, something new uh, in those uh, years. Quite new, quite um, rare to find it, uh, rare and young writers uh, and authors. Uh, in Algeria. Exactly, and I see it's an amazing opportunity uh, for me. It is uh, really something special exactly, to yes, appreciate. Yes. Um, so is there, um, are you expecting to be uh, yourself to be successful in this field of endeavor or is it just a passion uh, regardless of the outcomes? Well, uh, in my opinion, I think this is a story of uh, a passion, a patient, a pa passion, a passion. Uh, yes, a passion. Then uh, it turned, it will be, inshallah, turned to be a story of successful, inshallah. Inshallah, I hope inshallah. Uh, the best Thank for you. you so much. Um, bearing in mind that English is an international language, and Algerians are actually um, getting uh, to learn it and are becoming are getting interested into learning the English uh, language, especially students, businessmen, researchers, academians. Uh, we're seeing a shift actually from French to English. We're seeing that um, students and young adults, teenagers are now uh, shifting towards English rather than French. Uh, do you think that this is a positive point for the future of literature, scientific research, uh, and so on in Algeria? Well. I think this is a very important point because, mm -hmm. first of all, our my generation start to turn, as you said, into, into English, English. Uh, and not e only in reading or something. Even in my studies, in my research, researches, I uh, there is like a very sim uh, simple persons of uh, French uh, researches. But when I want more specific uh, uh, studies or uh, new and new research. ones, yes, more modern ones, I always find them in English. In English. So. It's like when you go to English, you will find another word, uh, more wide, wider than the, the French one, uh, more uh, easy, more uh, modern, more, as I said, yes. uh, more developed uh, in, a, in another way. Okay, it's the language of science. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, exactly. okay. So don't you share with me the opinion that um, more and more authors and writers should seriously think of writing in English, um, to give the exposure and exhibit Algerian heritage, Algerian history, Algerian culture uh, to the world and uh, at the international arena. I believe uh, personally that it's uh, a national duty for Algerians to write in English. What is your opinion on that? Well, uh, my opinion, uh, I remember those few days, yes. I, since I started sharing, my, uh, sharing about my book, I got a lot of uh, 
my teenagers sending me ab uh, like about their uh, scrubbers, like we say. They say, oh, I was writing a book too, and I was trying to do something. I was so bored. Look, read, uh, read about this. And I was like, this is so amazing, especially in, in English. Yes. And I was like, I was so impressed about what they were doing. And it was like, dude, just try, start making a book. You just get the will and start writing. And this, I could tell from now on, this is, will be an amazing book. So mm -hmm. it's not about they should start. It's just about they should just like uh, have the courage and just like have the initiative to start uh, making their dreams and making their scrubbers to, into a, a real book. It is actually our duty to uh, present ourselves at the international arena. Exactly. A, almost a national duty. Exactly. Especially that our culture is so rich Very and so rich. amazing and the thing about it it's high they don't know about our stories about, even though that we have History. like more amazing stories more like great heroes like and not even f fiction like real uh, stories when we are like saying to talk about a story like when people would hear it they would say is this a fiction but they would be surprised that this literally happened actually uh, a, a true story based one. on a true story on a true story yes so such literary work can significantly help our youth learn in English, um, especially teenagers and young adults. Uh, we have a great example in the Harry Potter uh, books, which became a universal mania, and books by Algerian authors such as your person. Um, and hereby, I wish you all the best uh, in the future. By the way, since your Death Symphony here um, is inspired by Algerian pop culture, and history. I suppose if you were in Hollywood, this could potentially be turned into a movie. So, a cartoon, why not? Are you thinking of turning it into a scenario, or a movie? Well, of course, who wouldn't, be, who wouldn't dream of that? Yeah. But the thing is, I would rather that it will be turned to a movie by Algerian uh, companies, yes. especially that we have the, the, the amazing places. I remember when going to Timgad, to Jmila, yeah. I was looking to the, the places and the rooms. I was like, why they they never thought about making a movie Movies. here? It will be an amazing, landscapes. exactly. It will be an amazing story, amazing decor. It's like, it's like just I I hope I hope one day this will be turned into a movie, as you said, and more in Algeria. For so, sure. Uh, we will be like trying to uh, introduce the, to the world what Algeria has from uh, places and from culture, culture uh, and historical places. So we'll be like trying to put, uh, like we said, we will hunt uh, two birds with one rock. <laughs> yes. Um, what message, uh, Usama, do you want to convey for Algerian youth in particular and international youth in general, especially those who have the same designs like you? Well, my always uh, advice is don't waste your uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, don't just, even if for my studies, like don't just focus in your study. Uh, get some hobbies, use your time and your passion and your hobbies, your powers and your energy to put something like uh, for you, for your family, for your culture, for your country. Uh, try to like, like make your uh, schedule as full as possible and as uh, as much as you could, like you say. As you could. Beautiful. Beautiful thank advice. You. Thank you. Well, Usama, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for uh, joining us here. And uh, thank you, dear viewers, for uh, following us. And we hope to see you in uh, uh, other episodes.